So you know how when you're listening to the radio, um, sometimes the announcer will come in and there will be a song going on underneath the announcer and it sounds kind of cool because you're listening to the song, but you're getting all this important information about whatever the announcer has to tell you? Well, that's called a music bed. And in this tutorial, I'll show you how to make one. A music bed is an age-old technique um, that can be made in several ways. I'm going to show you how to do one manually by recording your voice into GarageBand and then lowering the volume on the automation around your voice, just cutting away around it. Um, there's also something, a tool called the Ducker that you can use to create an automation. We're not going to be going over that in this tutorial. Quite frankly, it's more complicated than it needs to be and understanding how to adjust the volume on a uh, song is key to understanding many of the fundamentals of audio recording. So that's what we're doing in this video. I'll show you how. Um, so now the next thing I want to show you how to do is to make a music bed because if you're making something like a podcast intro, uh, it might come to the point where you want to add a music bed to it, which means lowering the volume of music so you can talk. Um, so let's say we want the, the, the announcer to come in right after the chorus, so we'll find that spot. So right there, after the bad girl chorus, I'll click this carrot to go down, and I'm going to set my audio, my, my music bed, by putting little dots on this line, and this will help me adjust the volume later. The other thing I'm going to do is make a new track, just by going to a new basic track, and I'm going to say what I want uh, while the music's playing, and I'll... I'll mute the music because I don't want to, to record it through the speakers while I'm talking. Um, but basically, all you have to do then is hit record on this track. And Hey, this is Aaron's podcast. Thanks for listening. And uh, please stay tuned. I'm going to play a lot of cool stuff. And I'm really glad to have you as a listener. Hit the play, play again to stop and I can listen to that. Hey, this is Aaron's podcast. Thanks for listening, and uh, please stay tuned. I'm going to play a lot of cool stuff, and I'm really glad to have you as a listener. And then, now that I've got these little points on this track right here, I can create a music bed. I'll do that by lowering the volume. See, this is the volume of the music. Around my voice. And when I do this, when I come back in um, with music, often I like to stage it. So I'll add two things. I'll have a more subtle lead-in and then a more sharp one. So it, it kind of fades in slowly and then quickly. Then if I'll unmute the track, you can hear what this sounds like. Hey, this is Aaron's podcast. Thanks for listening. And uh, please stay tuned. I'm going to play a lot of cool stuff. And... I'm really glad to have you as a listener. And again, just because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist with this, this should have been a little more gradual right there to, to ease the listener in. Hey, this is Aaron's podcast. Thanks for listening. And uh, please stay tuned. I'm going to play a lot of cool stuff. And I'm really glad to have you as a listener. Perfect. And so that's how you create a music bed and add some uh, voice, basically, to your, your audio track. Now that you've seen how to create an automation, uh, it's time to think of how to do a crossfade. You know how to adjust volume. So now, in the next video, we're going to go into how to mix two tracks together. Thanks for watching.